Welcome to beautiful Colorado, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be doing some off-roading because Expeditions, a Mudrunner game, has come out. And I am so excited for that. If you have been following my channel for a while now, you will know I've been following this series since, well, it first came out in 2017. With, of course, the legendary Mudrunner, and we played a bunch of SnowRunner as well. Well, now this is the newest installment, and it's definitely the most unique game, I would say. I haven't played a lot of it yet, but uh, there's a lot more going on in this game. For example, we have a bunch of devices we can use now. These are the ones I have currently equipped, but we have things like drones that we can use at our disposal. Right now, I have a recovery mission, this truck in this... Uh, swamp over here I need to rescue. But yeah, tools like this are going to uh, make just analyzing the terrain and exploring these maps even a little bit better. There's also new features. For example, you can air down your tires if you want to and inflate them. Something that should have been in these games long ago because it's so important for off-roading. And yeah, there's just a whole bunch of other things. I haven't looked too much into the game yet. So uh, we're going to be experiencing it together as we explore this first map. Now, I do want to thank Expeditions, a Mudrunner game, and Focus Entertainment for sponsoring this video. If at any time while you are watching, you want to learn more or purchase the game, I'll have a link at the top of the video description where you can check it out. The game is going to be available on PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and 5, Xbox One, and Series X and S on March the 5th. Now, today we're just going to be checking out the probably mostly Colorado because this is the starting location. If you, have, if you haven't played any of these games before, you do have to like collect things. You have to explore maps, do different missions to collect things to upgrade your vehicles. And generally, the terrain gets harder and harder the deeper you go into the game. So, shockingly, this is the easy terrain right now. So yeah, we'll probably stay here for a while. There is five missions we can do on this starting area. I didn't show you guys the tutorial because, well, it's a tutorial. And yes, this is the first mission I'm going to be doing. So we got to bring this back to my HQ, I believe. Nice truck, by the way. That was not intentional, but he has the exact same truck as me. All right, so before I connect to him, the game's yelling at me to do it. I want to at least get to the hard ground here so I have some decent grip because we have to turn all the way around. The best way to go back is definitely where I came from because trying to climb this over here is a death wish. So if I can turn around and rip this guy out of the mud, that's probably the best way to do this. All right, we still have the quick wench, which is nice. I actually don't want it on my side though. So we're going to release that. We can also use the wench through this menu, which is also nice. And you can choose which attach point you want. And we're going to turn on that engine because it's still working. And hopefully I can just manhandle it out of here. I'm going to have to go in low, turn on everything I possibly can to get him out of there. And we'll just pull him in while he pushes. Hopefully that's enough. These first missions are going to be pretty easy. Also, you got to remember, I have played a lot of this series, so I'm kind of used to it. But yeah, very much feels like a Mud Runner game, and that is a good thing. They are fantastic, at least in my opinion. Uh, so, so far, I mean, I haven't explored too much just yet, but I am enjoying myself. So, I hope we can get through here. This guy should be able to fit. I mean, he's the same vehicle as mine. Uh, forgot to turn back on my diff lock. I'm not very smart. All right, there we go. No harm done. And it's pretty easy driving from here on. Actually, I should have went up to the top. I thought this was the way I came. We might be able to get up this. We might have to go back, though. Ah, uh, that's not going to stop me. This is actually a really great truck. This is one of my starting trucks, so it's not great at all. Uh, I like that about Mud Runner, though. These starting trucks are truly awful, and that's the funnest part of this game is when you have a lacking vehicle and you just have to get lucky to get through some of this stuff. Okay, I think I'm just going to pull back. I am using way too much fuel. It's just, it seems so easy, which is confusing for me, but he is kind of angled. I wonder if I can straighten him like this, if I can get him up there. Is he really that much lower than me? Because I have no problem getting up there. <gasps> yes. Yes, it worked. The tight winch worked. Okay, sick. All right, got to be honest. I was getting nervous for a bit. I didn't know if I'd be able to pull this beast out or not. But as you can see, we did it. And back at our base, which really isn't a base at all just yet. I'm curious how this is going to work because you actually build your base in this game or at least some of it. Uh, so it sounds pretty interesting. And there we go. We earned 1,900 for doing that. We earned, we took less than 200 damage, so we got a bonus and recovered the truck l less than two times. Well, I didn't recover once, so go me, I guess. 
Took me 18 minutes to do that, though, and it really wasn't far at all. I was really bogged down for a while, and one point of damage taken. Ooh. All right, now we're back at our headquarters. So these are the current maps that are in the game. Obviously, Arizona is going to be a lot more com complex. So we're going to stay with Little Colorado. The game suggested that I stay here. All right, so we don't get anything for this one except for more money, but more money is good. That means I can get uh, upgrades with my vehicle. So yeah, we're going to do Storm Stone 4 just to unlock the free roam. And this is where this game is going to be a lot more strategic than uh, its earlier counterparts because you actually have to uh, set up your trucks a little bit more than the last ones as well. So I don't have a lot going on right now. The requirements for this are a jack screw and an anchor as well as an off-road vehicle. We got watery terrain. Isn't that mud? <laughs> So yeah, we just need a, uh, a vehicle that will ha be able to hold the jack screw and the anchor and be an off-road variant, so not a scout like this one. Okay, so I like the look of this vehicle. So every vehicle has, well, at least to my knowledge, every vehicle has its own inventory. Some vehicles might not, like small scouts or something. Uh, but inventory is where this game's going to get a bit different. These are essentially things that are going to help you throughout the uh, run. Some of them are totally free, the ones that really don't help you as much, I would say. So like a camcorder, if you want to film something, uh, a light beacon to mark an interesting or safe route if you are playing co-op, I guess. What the game wants us to do right now is get the anchor, though, which is a very important one. On any flat surface, I can put a new anchor point, so I essentially can winch anywhere. The downside of this, though, is it's very, ex well, not very expensive, but it is risky to use it because they are expensive. We also have the jack screw, which returns a car to its horizontal position. If the car is upside down, of course. So another huge thing. If you've played any game like this before, you know that could be the death of you. Uh, well, now it won't be if you have this equipped. And we're just going to put everything else in here because why the hell not? We also have sideboards that can hold other things. So I can do like weather tracking, uh, a radio station, which is necessary to use the radio, I guess. A uh, hydro monitoring system analyzes bodies of water for depth. That sounds fantastic. So we'll get that. Let's get a spare wheel. Uh, some spare parts and some spare fuel and I think that's a good setup so yeah you really got to equip your trucks now strategically and there is a bunch of customization as well as per usual in this game I mean you got a whole plethora of things actually not many for this truck of all things but there is a bunch of things you can add to the truck as well on top of the items that you can use I kind of want to save my money right now so I because I don't really know what truck I'm gonna use but yes when we get when we figure out our truck we will be upgrading it we should be okay with a base truck for this run though so we'll we'll choose this one and one more thing i did want to show you is the team composition now you can earn team members essentially team members have all different types of benefits i only have connor unlocked right now so yeah connor if i hire this guy it's only 500 i get 100 liters of fuel 200 repair parts not sure what this marks binocular drone means or the binocular i guess i can see 150 meters further with the binoculars so yes these are essentially just more benefits for your car and you actually have a crew in your car now which is pretty cool to me obviously when the game gets harder those might be really really helpful so we'll start the expedition with a base car i'm not going to hire any of the specialists or anything unless i absolutely need to and let's figure out where we're going from here well, I went to the wrong area, so we're just going to recover to the right area. I might lose some benefits for doing that, but I, I spawned at the wrong area. I need to go right here, so obviously <laughs> this is the place I was supposed to be. All right, so yeah, I guess we're crossing a lake. I didn't even know what we were doing for this one. That sounds fun. I'm really glad I got that depth meter then. That was pure luck. All right, let's actually... I don't want to take any damage, so I'm going to go low and slow. We're just making our way over to the lake right now on probably the worst route I could have chose. Is this the swamp? I mean, I understand I'm at the start of the game, but do I even need the uh, depth reader for this? Let's just see how this thing works. So we have the echo sounder. And okay, so I'm assuming, I hope a green one me. Oh God. I think green means good, right? <laughs> oh yeah, we're fine. This is totally fine. People said they couldn't get through this. They're wimps. That was nothing. Voila, baby. Is that it? Oh, God. Okay, this might be a little harder. If you want to use a winch, so there's no convenient point to connect to using the anchor. The anchor can be placed on a non-stony ground. All right, no stones allowed. So we're just going to winch across. I wonder if I need the winch. Nope. Didn't, di didn't need it, game, but thanks. I just want to save my money, damn it. Is it going to make me do it? Yep, I think it is going to make me do it. Oh, Okay, I just had to open that thing. Well, that was that was a lot easier than my first choice, and I earned just as much money. 
I have to remember, though, this is the starters area. Most players who are going to play this game have never played a Mud Runner before. So, yeah, this one's going to be a little bit easier. All right, let's keep going here. Now we should have opened Free Roam. I'm very curious to see if we can find anything on the map. But I do want to do the rest of these, too. Not from, from the training base. We have left valuable cargo. Yes, please. Metal detectors and valuable cargo. Say no more. That is me. All right, so I just got this bad boy as a reward for my first uh, mission done. So this is as generic as you can get. I kind of love how adorable it is. We can use a scout here. So yeah, I'm going to use the Dawn 71. Not much room in this bad boy, so we are going to have to be careful. Do I want to get... No, you know what? I'm, I don't think I'll flip. So I'll just add a few random things for good luck that I'm not going to use. And I'm going to go stock. We'll see how long we can last with this thing. Just have to actually install the metal detector, which is conveniently free. That is a fancy metal detector, man. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Oh, we're legit metal detecting. This is so cool. So uh, we actually need to kind of follow it. The metal detector turns white. It means that there are objects in search within a radius of 200 meters. A metal detector gives you information about the location and range of objects. So red resources. Oh, that's going to be confusing. I thought that was like distance. Uh, blue items and green upgrades. Well, it's good to know that I should have this thing all the time. Oh, it leads you, I think. Hold on. Oh, I thought the light led you in the right direction. No, that's just the light on. Okay. All right. So let's try and use it and see what happens here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, fancy. Oh, it does lead you. This is so cool. So we got one here, one, I guess, at the shop too. Okay, it just keeps getting further and further. I'm actually going to open the map and see if I'm... It's maybe further away than I expected. Okay, so yeah, obviously we have a point of interest here. So I'm just going to head around this way. And something must happen when we get close. I'm thinking. We are nice and light, so we're not going to have any problems at all. So, yeah, this has to be the one that I needed. Yep, that was the blue. Is this the red right here? You've discovered a new airdrop. Reward $100. Yay. Okay, so this is a resource zone. Oh, so it, gi it gives me an anchor if I want it. So, yeah, I, I will exchange that for a free anchor. Thank you very much. Anchors are expensive. And this area is done. So, yeah, we're just going to move on to the next one and see if we can pinpoint these. Okay, and here is another one. There we go. We got one more to do. So yeah, I already, I think, unlocked all these. We got another airdrop here. Some fuel. You know what? I'll take it. Drain that into my tank. There we go. I'm getting loot from everywhere. Okay, and the final one way up here. So we got a ways to go. I mean, not a crazy ways, but uh, just got to go across my HQ here. Okay, we got to be in the zone. I believe it's like right... Oh, we're just touching it now. Nice. So I don't know if I need to scan again or not. And yeah, we already found it. So do a little bit of off-roading in this little thing. And just go down this hill and get it. Well, that's a little bit of a drop, isn't it? It's just a crack in the ground. Let's not fall out of that. There we go. So another one done. We only got one more to do on this area. So let's get it done and do the whole thing. And this time we need to do a seismic survey of the surrounding area. So I'll need a heavy truck with a seismic vibrator. Nice. It also lets me know that this obviously greatly increases the weight of the truck. So make sure you purchase all the necessary upgrades. I don't want to, game. Don't tell me what to do. All right, so I believe this is the seismic thing. I mean, it is vibrating, so I think I only have one, sorry, two trucks that will work. So these two, which are the same truck, except one is SC. I believe that might be the DLC version. I'm going for the base model, baby, because I ain't scared. We are going to be kidding ourselves for this one, though, just because this is a heavier truck, and I'm a little bit nervous because of that. And we'll get a bunch of spares. Is there anything else we want? Weather tracking, that's that gets me interested. Is there going to be, like, storms? Because that would be so cool. Uh, I guess I'll get the hydro monitoring system again. And that's all I really need. I don't really know the point of these basic things. Uh, unless you're doing, like, maybe screenshots or something with the cam recorder. I have no idea. Which would be cool, actually, if you have to actually use that to get cool shots in this game. All right, we obviously need the vibrator, which is thankfully free. But, wait... Okay, so I know. Oh, that's smart. Before the other games, if I remember correctly, you had to figure out which platform you needed. Now it knows if you just want to put a seismic vibrator on here, it's going to auto install the platform that you need. Fantastic. Makes the game way easier to deal with. All right, just going to do a, a few small upgrades, maybe. I actually, no, I don't want to upgrade this thing because it's actually one of my worst vehicles. Uh, I just want to see if there's anything free. It doesn't look like it. I could get the rear-mounted rack. That is tempting, but I, th I th let's just try it. I think we'll be okay. 
All right, and there we go. My truck is ready to go. Should I get that guy to join me? I have earned a bit of money in this game. So you know what? Let's just get this guy on here just to see if, if I hire him, is he always going to be there? That'd be pretty cool. I doubt it because it was only $500 though. All right, and deploy. All right, we definitely got a heavy boy this time. I can definitely feel the difference already. It's going to be fun with these road-based tires as well. All right, so right now, all we need to do is explore. So I guess I'm just going to go. I mean, this meterage is going down, so I must be going the right way. I don't have much intel right now. Okay, so that's going the wrong way. Is it going the right way? It's definitely, I think, this way. So we're going to turn left over here. This is going to be fun. This is like a treasure hunt. Except I don't get any treasure. I just get vibrations. Getting a little stuck now, but that's what diff lock is for. Oh, we're right here. It's got to be like right by this tree or something. Ah, yeah. Start it. Vibrate, baby. Pound that ground. Oh, well, there we go. Job well done. <laughs> Dude, that's super satisfying to watch, though. Okay, now it just says explore the area with the seismic vibrator. It's not telling me anywhere of where to go. So I get, I'm going to continue down this valley that we got going on. That's probably where it wants me to go. So I'll just plot a very basic route through this and see if we'll get any closer to it. All right, making our way 240 meters. Doesn't seem like a long ways, but when you're off-roading at a snail's pace, definitely is. This thing is great, though. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be a lot harder when we get to muddier maps, but just having this hard yet technical ground is pretty fun to go around in. All right, do I continue going this way? You know what? Actually, let's do this right. We're going to get out my, my my old drone. We have binoculars as well. I don't... I mean, you can really zoom in with these things, and I think you can find points of interest with them. So, oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I haven't tried these yet. Uh, so I think if as long as you can see something, you can actually spot it, and then it should show up on your map now. Yeah, this is the one thing I was just looking at. Not only that, I just realized anywhere that I view with the binoculars unlocks that part of the map, too. Okay, binoculars are goaded. I didn't even know they did that till now. So getting to high ground and just using your binoculars is going to be a great way to scan the entire area. I think they might have gotten rid of the search towers and are just going to do it this way instead. Because a big part of the other games were finding search towers that essentially did the same thing. Except it was unlocking a predetermined part of the map. If I have to use binoculars to actually, like, scout my locations, that's just way more in-depth to me and way cooler. So, like, for example, right here, I have some of this unlocked, but not a lot. Now that I have a better view, I want to see how much this unlocks. So I can just scout. And, oh, we got something over there. Nice airdrop that way. Oh, this is so fun. And, yeah, that just unlocked a whole plethora of the map. You could even see my view distance and where I was looking. That, I don't know why, that is so cool to me. All right, so we're going to have to cross this. I don't know. I'm assuming this looks to be shallow. Generally, if there's little islands, that's usually an area that's shallow. So I think what we're going to do is pull back this way. We should be able to get down this terrain. It's not going to be easy. I'm hoping we can make it down and just analyze and see if we can cross this way or not, though. Because I'm pretty sure I, I need to go that way. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh... Wow, I didn't expect that to be mud. I don't have any wench points here either. We're, we're, we're not stuck yet, but I don't like <laughs> the fact that this is happening this early. Yeah, that is deep mud. I didn't even realize that would be mud. All right, so I'm going to stick one wheel on the hard ground, one on the soft. Try and squeeze through here. I got to watch where I'm going to. Is there even a way down right here? Okay, yeah, probably to the left there. So I'll go right right here, avoid that big rock in front of me. Go left, and I hope it's not a steep drop like it is right in front of me here. It doesn't look like it is. And, yeah, I think we're safe from here. We got to the water. You discovered a new climb. Yeah, I don't know what a climb is. Oh, I understand what a climb is, but what does that even mean? Like, oh, like right here? So does it, like, no, like, useful routes? Is this considered a climbing route or something? I, I, I don't know what that was, but... We're getting closer. We're only 91 meters away. I don't know if I need to go around this river or through it. All right, just looking at the depth, that is probably way too deep. See if we can uh, use this. Yeah, as I assumed. I mean, you can kind of visually see when the water's too deep in this game. If it's black, that's generally a bad sign. All right, so yeah, I don't think I'm crossing this river. That's for sure. I'm just trying to get within 10 meters now question oh it's getting further so it's gotta be directly across from me then 
like over there. So I should be able to cross. I wonder. Hold on. Let me... Can I get out my drone yet? Everything's been a no-fly zone. I can finally fly it. Yay! All right. So I'm just looking for a shallow point. I'm thinking this, this tight section over here might be the answer for me. And that's about as far as I can get. Yeah, that definitely looks shallow right there. We have high current, but it's shallow. So as long as we're heavy, we should get grip. I'm going to get a bit closer, see if I can get by on the coastline or if I have to climb the mountain or not. But yeah, just looking at this, this is definitely the way I should have went. There's a nice, slow, gradual downward uh, area on the other side of this mountain. But I'd have to go up the mountain, around it, and back down. Or I could go the somewhat dangerous way of right here. It looks like we do have enough room, though. So I think, I think we should be okay. Yeah, I don't know what I was so worried about. I just want to use my tools to my advantage. If I have a drone, I'm definitely going to use it more often. It seriously is super helpful when it comes to off-roading just to get a bird's eye view. Uh, okay, we're going to have to connect to that, but it's really close to me. Is there anything else I can connect to right now? Well, putting diff lock on would help, so we'll just do that instead. There we go. Oh, yep, yeah, that's going to destroy my seismic vibrator. I'm just going to do an echo sound right now and see. Yeah, that, we can actually cross right here. I was hoping to get a little bit higher up because it's more shallow there. All right, come on. Come on, tree. Don't don't hit me and stop me. I, I have to go. I have to keep this momentum because I don't want to be pushed down the river. So I'm going to try and fight it right now. And okay, so that's cool. You can di discover different areas to get through things. And it's probably going to be on my map for always now. All right, I really hope I was supposed to go this way because that was a big detour. But yeah, it should hopefully get nice and close over here. Well, bad news. I think I actually did go the wrong way. Uh, it's been getting closer and further away. I can't actually... Oh, God. Just damaged my truck a bit. Uh, I can't actually figure out where exactly it's going. Just judging by the fact that I went around this, though, went this way, and I'm further away now. It's closer over here. That tells me it's probably more up here than where I am. So that's a problem, because I got to go all the way around to get back, but I'm going to run out of gas by then, so I might need to uh, reset. Yeah, I'm really not sure how I screwed that up. I was right here. How did I screw that? I'm only 12.9 meters away right now. I think I was much closer to the road, or sorry, the river. And for whatever reason, my brain was like, it's across the river. That's, that's totally got to be it. I was assuming too much. This was much easier than I thought, and it's got to be like right here, done. Oh my god, that was so easy. Literally, I was here at the start of this run. That's okay. It was a fun challenge getting across the river anyways. All right, now we have free roam, so I figured we could go look at that. I'm just going to put... Uh, wow, 15 liters. That's all I can hold with this thing. That's all right. It's a small truck anyways. We'll get some spare parts as well. I like that it adds an actual fuel canister and spare parts. It's going to look so cool when these things are kitted out to the max. We obviously have very basic vehicles right now. But yeah, I'd love to go out and see what we can find out there. So I'm going to deploy and just simply explore. I don't know how big this map is, but it's probably not too big. Again, this is just a starting location. So we haven't done much at the field operations base. We'll go over here and see if we can find anything on the map or not. Well, I see money over here and I do like money for an altar. Okay. I'm not really sure what that's about, but it looks like we can get through here. I'm seeing my point of entrance. Hopefully this vehicle's big enough. I figured a scout would be the smartest because it's nice and light. But sometimes lights is, is a bad thing as well. All right, so we got a nice gold mining uh, air thing and an airdrop over here. Is that a bone? I don't know what the bone is. I haven't seen that. I know the one thing's for the anchor, but the other two things, I have no idea what they are. There's also the gold mine down here. This looks like to be an easy way over. So we're just going to go grab these real quick. Then we'll revert back and get this... Uh, chapel or whatever the hell it was loving the map design so far i keep seeing these like abandoned mine sites some of them small like panning areas we obviously have uh an underground mine here that's been blown up really gives you the colorado feel of this uh we should be oh well we're actually we, we passed it how the hell did i pass it that so that was it hello i'm here to collect my money at the gold mine is this not how you're supposed to do these things i'm like right on top of it oh I just need to, I just need to track it. Uh, oh God. Oh, wait. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. Did I do the first part now or do I have to end off here? Okay. Yeah, it's gone now. So I think I had to uh, grab it and now I need to go all the way across the map to get to the gold mining area. Uh, at least we have the map unlocked now. So it looks like I could probably follow this all the way around if I wanted to and make my way there. 
which sounds like a fun challenge. I'm just going to grab this airdrop while we're here. And yeah, that airdrop is just right there. I'm just trying to get a good aerial view to see the best way to get up this thing. That looks to be a trail that I could get up, but a lot more difficult than the long way around. So I think I'm just going to go the long way. All right, I'm super excited to see what these are. So you can find special loot around the map, which is really cool to me. Uh, I, I've already brought my own, but I may as well grab a second. Interesting. And I can get scrap metal, which is recyclable. Or I could get a dinosaur freaking femur. Part of the museum? It's valuable to the museum, I should say. I guess you build a museum sooner or later. I'll, I think I'm going to take this one over scrap metal. That just sounds a lot more exciting. All right, now for our longest... Ooh, slow down. I got to remember I'm in a, a light boy right now. But yeah, now for the longest trek yet, we got to go all the way across the map to make it to the rest of this gold mine. Definitely worth it, though. I think it was like 3,500 for this quest. So as long as we don't run into too much trouble, it shouldn't be too bad. Ooh, those are... I got to remember I'm in a small car. Those are some thick boy rocks. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, yeah. I'm underestimating this car. Not too bad at all. Look at that. I discovered a new fjord. All right. And it's been a long voyage, uh, but I've been patient and uh, going nice and slow throughout this. And it went totally fine. So this should be a good payday over here. Just going to try and make a shortcut through this. And hopefully this is all I have to do. I hope I don't have to go back. That would kind of suck. But there we go. Yes. Contract has been complete. So there is contracts you can find clearly as well. Uh, we had a few more, so we have the Ancient Remains and the Altar as well, if we did want to do those to earn some extra money. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any free vehicles around or anything, which is what I was hoping to find. I don't know if you can find vehicles in this game or whatnot, but we still have, haven't have explored the whole map. Obviously, it looks like it gets quite tall up here, so I uh, definitely do want to do some more exploring later. Okay, and that was a quick look at Little Colorado in Expedition Mud Runners, guys. So yeah, that's obviously, I would say, the bunny hill in this game. You know, the part that you go to to uh, kind of learn how to play, which is what I wanted to do today. I wanted to check out all the new features and just have a fun time driving around. Next up, we'll be doing Arizona, and this cuts off into four different maps, kind of like the old games as well. So we have a bunch of different things we can do, and these maps are probably going to be a hell of a lot more technical. Gets me excited. There's already a mods region in this game as well, because modding is such an important part of this game. Well, yeah, that is a quick look at Expeditions, a Mud Runner game, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick first look into this game. I'm definitely going to be doing more in the near future on the channel. Uh, I am excited for co-op as well, but as you can see, it's coming soon. So, uh, yeah, it was nice to get out and check out some of the single player. I will say I appreciate that they kind of focus more on single player in this game. Having the things like the equipment is really nice because if you ever played some of the older games as a single player player, it can get frustrating sometimes when you flip your car and then you're just stuck. You have to reset everything. It's nice to have that option to, uh, if you want to pay for it, of course, have a second chance at being successful. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. Once again, I want to thank Expeditions, a Mud Runner game, and Focus Home Entertainment for sponsoring this first episode. And yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see any more. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.